Hello there, humans, hippies, earthlings, have you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too, welcome back to the channel. My name's Bushka, great to have you with me here today as we roar and soar through a couple of replays from Young Amigos. Now, this is Prometheus from the Surly Clan. You might know Surly because Surly is the clan that was... Uh, Picked up from the ashes of Grump, my old clan on the Asia server, where everyone stopped running around as a Grump player because they just kept getting YOLO'd. And uh, it's the first time in ages I've actually had a replay featured from one of my mates. So that'll be fun. Uh, and Prometheus is running around in the bat chat. Then we're going to fly on. And uh, I was going to say something rude there, and I had to adjust on the fly and show you a replay from a young human called Nesta on the Normandy map uh, and he is running around in the Type 61, a tank that has really risen to the fore as the buff train has come through the station and it's certainly a devastating little vehicle now. Just a few buffs here and there and it's really worked wonders. And one of the best things on display here is the sportsmanship that is inherent on the Asian server. Now, He's running pretty good here, Prometheus. He's made some good decisions. He's kept his tank and his gun in the game very nicely. And he's consistently keeping the scoreboard ticking over. He's at 23.43. Good numbers for only a minute and 40 seconds in the game, especially if you're driving the Bat Chatillon. Unfortunately for him, there have been some poor decisions made by other members of the team. And they are showing this by the chagrin in the chat itself. Now, he's muscling and hustling and trying to get there in time to help out those last two blokes over there in the TDs. Unfortunately for him, however, uh, he's just not going to make it. He's just going to make it. He's, yeah, there's losers is the call. GG says the grill. Losers again says the leopard. Everyone's um, communicating at another level now. They've, uh, they've moved past friendship and uh, a totalitarian regime is now in place. Uh, the the bat chat is a noob. Uh, it's all negative, says Promusif. Hand bang him, says Chinigi Invader. Bat chat lick you. <laughs> I mean, they're just, they're just. I think he's saying the bat chat is a noob like you. He's saying you're a noob too. Nice move there from our amigo. Look at him getting. The, he's trying. He's desperately, desperately got a. Oh, he gets a lucky bounce off the buttocks. And he's desperately trying to clear a tank before things get too tough. He knows there's one in that cap out there. He's just cleared one. Yeah, he's only missing one other, and that's just popped. So he's got all the tanks. And this is actually an excellent move. Caps the base and eludes, uh, you know, the, the bad guys while also maintaining... Oh, listen, so much for the Bat Chat is a noob. The Bat Chat has actually played a humdinger of a game, Chinigi the Leopard. The noob, my friend, I've got to be honest, is currently looking like it's you. But don't worry, there's plenty of noob to go around. And Promo is about <laughs> to show it off to the nth degree. Here we go. He's looking for love in all the wrong places. Now, a big part of the problem here is that the... Enemy team has a full hit point, just about FV4005. And that is a hell of a vehicle. It is a vehicle that can absolutely dominate and uh, much to the detriment of our Amigo here in the bat chat. Ooh, he's seen something over there. His light tank camo is doing good things for him. Hello? Yes, one more, one more, one more. Go, 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 go. Oh, ho, ho. tap, tap, tap a -roo. Go for that full clip reload. Come on. Let the full clip happen. He does. And he's going to get the cap as well. Well, so much for the Bat Chat is a noob. I would go so far as to say the Bat Chat is the best player on the red team, but he's not silly enough to hang around in that cap circle. Now, he knows he's a chance here. He's just got to wait. He's one left. Oh, he's blown the first shell. The FV's going to be on a full reload if he's not careful. FV gets one in. He should get this second one in. This should be an easy COD. What he's going to do is get close and stay connected to the FV. He doesn't want to swing wide. No, Promo. Prometheus, no, no, you want to get close. Just touch him. Touch me in the morning. That's it. Touch him. You got to stay close. No, don't. The further away you go, the more chance there is that this guy is going to... He can, he can go very fast. Ow. All the ow. That's okay. You can still do this. Just no. Oh, no. Don't run into him. Oh, this is like a guy. I can't watch. That's called a choke. That is playing like a champion. And then gets called noob by the FV, who just got plum lucky. Very, very lucky to be on the red team instead of the green team. Get stuffed, you grub. Bad luck, Prometheus. 
great effort. Like, I mean, brilliant play. That C cap, clearing the 57, escaping the bad guys. It's like Snake Pliskin, Pliskin coming out of New York with a head of steam. Uh, or maybe when he was in Escape from LA, Kurt Russell surfing the wave, jumping all over. Who was the bad guy in that? Steve Buscemi, I want to say Steve Buscemi. Anyway, let's move onwards and upwards. Enough with the pop culture. This is Nestor. I want to have a big cathartic release here. Nestor is the next one in line to try and bring it home. Is he going to have the ultimate uh, achievement? He's going to carry, unlike Prometheus, my good mate Prometheus, who just managed to fall short, and uh, Steve Bradbury at, at the finish line. Um, I mean, Steve Bradbury in the in the opposite sense where he gave it to the FV4005. Or are we going to have Nestor shine like a diamond? Shine bright like a diamond. I'm just going to quote bad pop songs at you now. Uh, who can say? Who can say? Well, I can say because I've seen the finish. And Nestor's can probably tell you because he's seen the finish as well. But if you haven't see the finish stick around it's worth watching the 61 was originally a absolute schmozzle of a tank it struggled to get on the board at all because people really just drove it to get through to the uh, stb1 it didn't have anything it could hang its head on. Its uh, gun depression wasn't special. Its alpha wasn't special. Its DPM wasn't special. Its mobility wasn't special. Its armor was god awful. And it didn't have anything to really say, hey, this is my kind of tank. This is the tank I want to drive. That's changed. And I've done a review on the 61. And if you haven't watched it, you probably should. Because there is a lot of stuff going on with the 61 now that it actually is a special tank. It does have a unique defining characteristic. And that is its DPM in conjunction with all the other middle of the road stuff it had, which was goodish to, to great, but never special enough to just qualify it as the tank you would drive. And Nestor's going to make some very aggressive moves. One of the things that's in his favor here is he's obviously up-tiered, uh, down-tiered. So he's, he's dealing with a lot of lower alpha tanks. That is a very, very brave AMX CDC who does not know the vehicle he's facing, obviously, because the gun over there in the Type 61 will absolutely chew through him like a dose of salts. Uh, he has way more DPM than that AMX CDC, and he has a gun that is a much higher alpha. So that is a bad idea. The STA one there, the little brother of the tank we're seeing, the penultimate tank in the line, if you're searching for tier nine personified, uh, that is the STA one. The Type 61, obviously, is uh, the tank prior to the STB one not to be confused uh nice hook around here he's got a nice look at the uh or oh, unfortunate miss there that amx cdc getting out of jail on that one and still he's got 3k damage have a look at that but there is not a tank down by before we, we started chatting there two fell there very very quickly but he doesn't have a lot of hit points uh, the, certainly a one shot for that T30 if the T30 can snake around and get a look at him but he's not looking in the right direction that is not where the bad boy is uh, the Type 61 is at the top here my friend and you need to be dealing with him before you start getting too aggressive with the French light tank all over the top here here he comes here he comes oh no stop stop and think you better stop think about what you're trying to do to me he's looking away again this is not the tank you want to ignore, my friend. This is the tank you want to be looking at. And he cruises up to 4K. How quickly has he churned out 4K damage here? He has been time on target personified. And now he has four red guys left to grab. They are up there to the uh, far southern edge of the map. And he's got to climb this big hill to get there. He's got a lot of of damage to chew through though if he wants to go home a winner and they are four on four evenly matched as they head into the straight in this the final of the uh i don't know where we're going with that i'm just gonna leave it there put it aside for one moment and we'll talk about something else and that that is how good this tank is when it's faced uh, with tier eight opponents there are not a lot of tanks at tier 8 that have raw DPM, especially not the mediums. Tier 8 is a funny one where it goes from tier 7, which has like 2400, 2800 DPM tanks like the Comet, uh, your T43s, your, these, these big DPM tanks. And then you go up to tier 8 where the alphas rise, but the DPM tends to stand in the low to mid 200s, 2000s. And then you climb up to this bad boy where the DPM just shreds. And it is absolutely something you want to have a handle on as you, uh, oh, there's that IS-3. He's about to feel the burn. Don't let it stop now. 
He's getting the flank. He's going to make good decisions here. The IS-3, that's a bounce. That was an unexpected bonus. That RU-251, he wants to be very, very careful. He's got the high explosive plastic, but Nesta knows what he's about. He gets a big shot into the side, turning and shaking now as he bumps down. The RU-251, bang. He's out of it. Good stuff. Hard to beat. And he's heading down to the beach now to finish off the coup de grace. 6,068 damage. A wonderful performance. More than making up for the performance of my amigo Prometheus in the Bat Chateon, uh, where he gave the game away to the FV4005. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. I don't do a lot of subscriber replays these days, but I thought those two very much went together. I'm Bushka. Look after yourselves. And as always, stay safe on the battlefield. Bye for now.